Could you explain that for our viewers? So ever since uh, e-cigarettes have been on the market, um, there has been this uh, this line or fear that e-cigarettes would prove to be a gateway that would lead to more combustible smoking. And that that theory came out when cigarette smoking among young people was probably 15, 17%. And the number has just gone down and down and down. And now we're under 2%. So if e-cigarettes were a gateway for smoking combustible cigarettes, wouldn't we see the emergence of e-cigarettes lead to an increase in smoking? So I think the evidence doesn't back up the idea that e-cigarettes are actually a gateway. You mentioned this common liability theory, and people might be wondering what that really means. But it really means that people, it, it, people experiment. Young, young people experiment with multiple tobacco products. And yes, it may be possible that some young people that experiment with uh, e-cigarettes also use cigarettes sometimes or experiment with cigarettes sometimes. But when you look at the data carefully, you may find that there could also be a bi-directional relationship. People that, young people that experiment with cigarettes might subsequently experiment with e-cigarettes. Similarly, people who are experimenting with hookah and cigars and smokeless could subsequently experiment with other tobacco products. So the more you look at the data, you see that there's this phenomenon of experimentation. And, and But at the end of the day, if you're looking to see if experimentation is using to an increase in combustible cigarette smoking, I don't think the numbers show that. One of the things that we hear often is that there is a switch happening between smoking being the great evil and nicotine now being the great evil. 